you can see with this pipe bender design that there is a die underneath the pipe so when it starts to gain pressure underneath it starts to stretch and gain pressure in one small area throughout the whole bin in other words creating an improper radius curve across the die creating a binding and narrow section towards the center only and very weak at that point you see how it's binding in even more towards the center this is how a pipe should bend across the die. You see the arrows are pointing where the energy is focused at. It doesn't just focus the energy in one spot throughout the whole bend. It spreads the energy as the pipe begins to bend across the die evenly. Now it's fully across the whole die. This is the same concept of how the pipe should bend across the die. It spreads the energy evenly through different parts and sections of the pipe. You see how even that radius curve is? Much better. Number one explains how a proper pipe bend is created. Note that the lines in the pipe are the focus areas where the pressure is spreaded gradually. It's not just in one spot. And picture two and three, the pressure is focused in one spot. You can see how it's narrow in the center. Right here, towards the, the center right here. And this is the most concentration right here for, for, for this pipe bender. Okay, look at, you see this? Look at the top right here, how flat that is. And look at the bottom right here, how narrow that is. That's an improper bend. It's more narrow right here, and as it starts to get over here, it starts to increase in its size to its natural dimensions of this pipe. How this is designed is that it goes up and it puts pressure in one spot of the pipe rather than equalizing the pre pressure in multiple different areas like starting right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here to get this radius right here, a good radius but since this pipe bender is designed to go straight up rather than evenly putting this the evenly putting force from right here and working its way down to here to the to the where my this finger is right here to get a nice bend radius like this radius right here but it's going straight up like that it's like you're basically taking this and gonna break it like a stick so all the concentration is going right here in the center right here that's improper design right there you don't want one spot right here, all concentration of the energy right here in the center, because that's your. It's like you're taking this huge thing like a stick and you're bundling it in and towards the center. You want it to be evenly distributed towards right here to here. So all the energy is going right here, okay? And you start to see them bend, bending. Okay, now it's working its way right here. Now into the center, over here, over here, over here, over here, over here. See this? All the concentration is heading right towards here in the center. And you can start to see this part right here is just stretched flat. And all this area over here is normal. I mean, you can see that there's no bend, of course, it's just straight from here on down over here towards the edges. But all right here, it's all being concentrated in the center. All the force right here is beginning right here. From the beginning, the moment I put my foot down on here and start pulling on this leverage right here to give it more leverage, pulling it this, this way. And as I'm pulling it this way, it's concentrating the energy right here, this one little spot right here. 
And as it's bending, it's working the energy in different areas on the pipe, working its all, way all the way up to the point where it's right here at this end of the die, depending on how much you want bent. You know, and this this radius right here, they come in different radiuses. You know, on these pipe benders, this one's a different radius. So watch what what, what I'm talking about. It's going to start the energy right here. Okay, now look, where is it at now? Where do you think the energy is concentrating right now? Not right here anymore. It's already done right here. This piece of shit design right here doesn't give a crap. It focuses all the energy right here in this one little spot right here. This is much smarter. It doesn't just focus at one spot. It focuses it in multiple spots of the pipe, working its way up to the end. That's how you get a nice radius. Okay, where is it at now? See that? All the energy now is right here. Working its way up to right here towards the end. It's almost done. Okay, see that? All the energy started off right here. Evenly going like this all the way. Down to there. See that? Nice bend. And all the energy is evenly spread it out through this section right here. You see where I'm pointing how it's buckling inward and the top is flat when it should be an even radius curve. And the pipe should be keeping its shape more accurately. Let's see what happens when I apply some heat towards the center of this pipe. The material becomes very weak towards the center because too much force is applied in that one little area, causing it to split open. This is a bad concept design of a pipe bender. This is a good design pipe bender. They also have hydraulic versions of these designs. You see how I'm applying heat in that one little area? That's where the bend starts to create. As it starts to bend, the heat is no longer in the first area where I started. It works its way forward as it bends across the die. That's how a pipe is properly bended. The die is just a guide for the specific radius you would prefer, and it gives a nice clean radius look. Note that the heat is just to show you how the energy is not just in one area. It's just to give you a visual on where the energy is spreading across the pipe as it's bending properly.